What's going on guys? Hopefully you guys are having a great day or evening or morning, whatever it might be for you guys. If you're new to the channel, then welcome. What I have for you guys today is actually a design request made from an Instagram follower that I have. Hopefully I don't butcher your name. I think his name is Upux or Upux, however you pronounce it. He found a design that was made for some Corsair products and he wanted that design on his Razer keyboard. So I figured why not give it a try. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my videos, I do put a download link in the description below. Make sure you go in there. It'll be under Dropbox link. Go ahead and click on that link and you can download this and import it into your profile designs. Without further ado, we're gonna get right into this video. This is Beating Heart. All right, guys, so this is the beating heart design. So what you want to start off with first is your background color, and that can be anything you want. We could leave it this spectrum cycling color if we wanted, or we could add a new wave layer and just make a wave on all of our keys. Select your color pattern, make it a multi-color pattern just like this. This could be our background, but for this video purposes, I'm going to do red. So I'm going to basically just duplicate this wave layer that we just made here. I'm gonna go ahead and name that first one rainbow. And then this new wave, I'm gonna rename this to red. So with this new wave layer, I'm gonna select all of my lighting options. Click on your color drop down, and I'm gonna just choose this three tone color right here. And I'm gonna use red, red, red. And on the middle node, I'm just gonna drag it a little bit darker so it has a little bit of color variance in it. And I'm also going to angle this up at zero degrees, just like that. So this is my background, and this is exactly what color or pattern your heart is going to be. So next what we're gonna do is we're just gonna basically mask off our surrounding area and create a static background or a background that doesn't change. So what we're gonna do is add a brand new wave layer and with this new wave layer, we're just going to rename it to background. And with this new layer, what we're gonna do is hold control and select all of your keys on your keyboard. And now we're gonna continue holding control and just select out the heart shape that you're going to make on your keyboard. This is going to be the regular heart and then the beat is also going to take up these keys as well. So I deselected all of these keys right here. Go ahead and let go of control. Click on your color drop down and choose this five tone pattern right here. We're gonna leave the first, third, and fifth nodes black. With the second node, we're going to change it to a really dark gray. I chose 0A, 0A, 0A. And you're gonna use that for both the second and fourth node. So click on that one as well. 0A, 0A, 0A. After clicking off of there, we're gonna change our angle down at about 130 degrees or so, just like this and we're also going to change our speed down to about four and hit save. So once we've done that, we're going to hold control once again and we're gonna select all of these keys on the left side of the heart like this. And we're just gonna change this angle to the other side. So now I'll hit save and you can see that the black and gray patterns moves away from the heart this direction and on this side it moves away this direction it's hard to see on this video but in person you can definitely make out the gray and black now that we've done this what we're going to do is add the heart beat to do this we're going to create a brand new wave layer and we're just going to name this heartbeat and with this new heartbeat layer, what we're gonna do is hold control and just select the outer portion of the heart design that we created. So all the keys on the outside, just like this. 
and we're gonna click on our color drop down, and we're gonna once again choose this five tone pattern. On the very far right, we're going to make this node right here invisible. And then this second node right here, second from the right, we are going to make black. So zero, 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 zero. And we're gonna leave this node alone at black, but we're gonna hit this addition and this new node here, we're gonna make invisible. So we're gonna slide this right up next to that and just kind of space it out a little bit more evenly. These two nodes on the left, we're going to delete. So here you have an invisible node with a black node, an invisible node with another black node. And what this does is it basically shows the color that's underneath this layer, and then it's gonna slowly fade to black and then show it and then slowly fade to black. So once we've created this gradient, we're gonna click off of there and we're gonna change our angle down at zero degrees or 180 degrees. Now that this is done, we're going to click save. And here you can see that it's not doing what we want it to do, right? You don't get a heartbeat because they're all in sync. So what you have to do is make each horizontal row basically its own color. And by doing that, you only have to change the hex code by just one unit. So with this very bottom, with the space bar, we're going to skip the space bar and we're going to select these next two on this second row here and click on your color gradient. And we're just gonna change this black color to uh, one. So you got zero, one, zero, 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 zero. Once you've done that with this layer, we're gonna click on this next layer and we're gonna do the same thing. Change the very last digit now by one. Once again on the following layer, click on those two Click on your color drop down, and we're once again gonna change this black node. We're gonna change the fourth digit here to a one. And with the next row as well, this time we've already used up all of our single digits that we can use. So we're gonna change the second digit to a one, but the fourth digit we're also going to change to a one. So you got zero, one, zero, one, zero, zero. What this does is just, it just gives you a really, really dark color, real close to black, but not quite black. Hit save, and then one more final row with this six row. Click on that color drop down, and we're gonna change this to a one, a one, and a one. So zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. And that looks good, we're gonna hit save. So now you can see around your heart, you get this beating design or this beating graphic that looks like the heart is beating. Now with this design, I also included a ripple. So if you click on the ripple, once you've created this new ripple layer, just select all of your keys and click on this color drop down. And we're gonna choose a white color for this single pattern. So six Fs as your hex code will give you white. Go ahead and hit save. So this gives you a regular white ripple effect on your keyboard, but what we want is horizontal ripples. To do that, we do the same exact thing we did with the heartbeat. So for each horizontal row on the keyboard, we are going to change the color by changing one value of the hex code. But before we do this, we're gonna select all of our keys and we're going to change to the start to on selected keys because we only want this to happen when we choose a specific key. And I'm gonna have it end after one time. So I'm gonna hit save. So now for each horizontal row, I'm going to change the color value just like I did with the heartbeat. So I chose, I skipped the razor logo here. And on my first row, I'm going to change my very last digit to an E, just one digit away from the F. Hit save. Once again on the second row, I'm going to change my second digit to an E. Hit save. Third row, I'm gonna change my fourth digit to an E. Hit save. Fourth row, we're gonna click on that drop down and we're going to change the color now to FE. 
FE. So you got two E's in there. Hit save. Now with the fifth row, click on that drop down, and we're going to change it to F E and then an E at the very end. So you got two E's here. And with the very last row, we're just gonna make it F E F E F E. Just like this and hit save. So now whenever you touch any row, you're gonna get a ripple that goes across each row individually. And last but not least with this design, I added a reactive as well. So with my reactive, all I did was choose all my keys and I just made it a red reactive and I slowed it way down. So when you click any button, <clears throat> it's going to stay red for a while and also send a white ripple effect to the sides. Real quick to clean this up, I'm going to add a new group. And with this group, I'm going to make it heart color. And I'm gonna drag this new group all the way down to the very bottom and just drag in my different color hearts that I want. And if you wanna make a new color heart, all you gotta do is right click and duplicate that layer. And you can make this whatever color you want here. We'll make it green. Click on this new green layer that you just made. Select all of the keys that were red. So let me go ahead and zoom out here. So I'm selecting all of my keys and instead of having this red gradient, I'm gonna do the same thing, make them all green, green, and then I'm just gonna slide that dark. So now I have a green color that I can also add to my lighting design. And it's as easy as that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as the subscribe and bell icon. That way you guys don't miss out on future lighting videos. As always, you can follow me on my social media accounts if you wanna to get to know me a little bit better. But that's gonna do it for me. I'll see you guys later.